I'm Jessica Mitchell, and thank you for joining us on this week's edition of Year 2 News. Tonight, we're going to be talking about... Oh wait, what's this? I've just received breaking news of a stress outbreak that is plaguing the CSU campus. We want all your students to be equipped to combat all incoming stress viruses. Let's go to our field reporters for some tips. David, what do you have on the outbreak? Thanks, Jessica. Hi, I'm David Novitsky, and I'll be reporting from the CSU Health Network. Hi, I'm here with Christina Burke, who's going to help inform us about how we can relieve stress through the CSU Health Network. What advice do you have for us to help alleviate stress? Something that I really encourage students to do every day is, again, to practice some kind of relaxation technique. Hmm. So we're going to go through one today, if that's okay with you. Yeah, that sounds great. All you have to do for the next few minutes is breathe. Sounds simple, but I want you to pay attention to your mind. When you're ready, you can open your eyes. Feel free to move around if I need to. What do you notice? That actually was really, really, really great. Definitely going to do that more often. That was actually really helpful. Thank you so much, Christina. That was really great. Uh, you can learn more about the Health Network at the website above. No, no, wait. Sorry, the website's down here. And on to the next reporter, we'll have Alex talk to you. Thanks, David. I'm Alex Grant, reporting from the Student Recreation Center. Today, we're going to hear about how you can release stress by exercising. <laughs> Did you hear that? Second year students, now go study for your exam. Feel the burn. Hi, Alex. Looks like you worked up a sweat. I'm Ethan, and I'm here to show you um, all the places you can study around campus. So we're going to check out the Behavioral Sciences Building um, and see all the resources available for you two students. Let's go inside. As you can see, now we're in the Behavioral Sciences Building. There's a lot of places to study in here. And then also, as you can see, this is the board that you can reserve rooms to study for. Um, you can just find the open spot and then reserve it, and you can study up to three hours um, for each room. And then also, if you need a quick fix, there's Sweet Temptations Cafe right over there. As you can see, this is one of the behavioral sciences buildings. Um, there's a whiteboard here that you can write on, and then behind me, the TV, you can hook your laptop up to if you want to do a group presentation and some practice for that. And then, if you can hear that, that's silence. Wow, thanks Ethan. I didn't know there were so many great places around campus to study. Thanks for all that information. Well, hi guys, I'm Amber, and I'm reporting to you from the Montfort Quad. What is equally important to have great study places is to also have places just for yourself, to have downtime and me time. Well, to alleviate stress, I like to take a nap in the Montfort Quad at least once a week. Other things that you could do and that I like to do is play the guitar, learn some songs online, um, go for a drive, and even walk around campus. Because, I mean, campus is a beautiful place to walk around. So it's really important to get that me time just for yourself to fight off that stress. Yeah! I feel rejuvenated from my me time. Well, now it's back to you, Jessica. Thanks, Amber. Now you're all ready to fight off those stress bugs. <laughs> That's all we have for tonight, but tune in next week when our topic is going to be mechanical pencils, the downfall of your college career. I'm Jessica Mitchell.